Hello everybody and welcome to day number one of our program that calls Make for Makers. So basically today we're going to start to learn Make, but before we start we have one super uh, important topic to cover and that will be a goal for today and we're going to talk about the chase, which is kind of the core uh, for many things that we're going to do during our lessons and uh, uh, understanding of it is vital for the whole uh, program. So we um, starting with a make, uh, I'll give you a super quick overview just in case if you've never uh, seen the make, which uh, definitely uh, super, uh, I would say, <laughs> has a super low uh, probability, but still, uh, so make, uh, it's a um, a platform for uh, building uh, advanced automations and uh, the structure this way so we have organizations here this is list of organization you may belong to several um, companies or kind of organization that we call them in the make and uh, each of these organizations in make uh, can have as many as you want uh, they call teams okay so that uh, team uh, it's a separate unit which contains all these scenarios, connections, and everything, which we're going to cover uh, during our program. So, um, and uh, in our scenarios, uh, we have definitely modules, which are uh, kind of a small unit of each of the scenario. And we use these modules to create some automations that we, we call them scenarios, right? Uh, so, um, and that's how it works. So you select the module and you add more and more and more modules to it. But to do it, so for example, we got the, uh, some data in our module. Uh, you can open and see it. But technically, what does make for you? It uh, beautifies kind of a data and structure is in, in better way. The data that uh, comes from APIs in uh, most of the cases, this data comes from third-party service, right? Almost in any case, unless you perform some kind of make internal data transformation. So again, in most cases, it comes from uh, somewhere else, right? And um, what does make for you? It structures the data uh, and uh, kind of beautifies it for you. But uh, why are uh, we going to talk about the JSON? And this is the goal of uh, our uh, whole today, uh, like the topic of this day. Uh, it's just because everything in Make built on the JSON. So if you uh, will take a look on output of your modules in here and input also, because input just empty in this case, we, do, we do not provide parameters, we do not send them but the output is literally a JSON. So that uh, type of text or this format uh, calls a JSON. And we're going to talk today about the JSON and about the structure. So after that, uh, our goal for today is uh, allow you to understand what means by text, what means by structure, what is a JSON and how to work with it. Because as I said, it's a, it's a vital, it's a kind of uh, fundamental thing that you need to know if you want to be a professional animator and professional make uh, users user right okay so by the, by the way this um, place allows you to work with the text not just only copy so you can just literally add the text here do stuff uh, that you want to do so let's start with a JSON and a structures because uh, literally to understand the purpose of a JSON and everything, we need to understand the structures and why uh, structures are different uh, how and how it's different from a text. Uh, so for this, I'm going to uh, switch a bit for uh, these drawings. So we will draw a bit. We'll work with the simple things. So uh, as you may understand, as you may know, right, we, we're going to work with them. Uh, some data and that data might have might uh, be in several formats so most common format that you definitely know it's a text so it's just the words uh, 
different symbols it might be encoded in a different way but it's still just a text right so and uh, you probably all, all of you know the rules of, of a text it might have lines and so and so and so different paragraphs and so on uh, we definitely won't have like a paragraph and rich formatting in most of our cases but uh, we understand what means text. So what uh, what the difference between a text and a structure and uh, how it's literally different even in a scenario. So if uh, we speak about the structure such as array or collection in here, which uh, uh, have pluses in our outputs, right? And even in variables that we're going to talk a little bit later, but again, we need to understand the, uh, the fundamental thing. So what is structure and how it's different from a text itself? So um, text, it's, it's a just a kind of set of uh, characters, right? That we have in here. While uh, the structure, it's a set of uh, parameters, literally that included in it. Uh, so let's uh, start with, a, uh, with an array. So what is array is is literally a set of uh, similar things, right? So it's a, it's a set of uh, of things that uh, uh, kind of packed in one uh, in one kind of set we may call it. So that's why I have um, like uh, uh, sheets here and the the letter, right? So uh, that's how it usually works, right? So in in uh, before the internet, we had the mail, the physical mails, right, and uh, and the papers. So you you have several sheets of it, uh, of paper, and you just put it in a one uh, envelope, and you send it, and it will be like one a letter, right? So we might say that this is kind of array of uh, so mail uh, or envelope will contain a array of uh, sheets. In this case, uh, similar thing we can say about the text actually. So we may say that our text it's a set of characters, which is interesting, and we are going to use this also a lot in our uh, future uh, program because we will work with the text a lot. Uh, so that's that's how it works. So uh, how works a JSON? Uh, I want to just start with some practical before we go to theory. So JSON uh, works this way. So when we uh, speak about the uh, arrays, uh, we, let me just grab the text block here. Okay, so in a JSON uh, array, always has this uh, square brackets. So either it will be an array of text or characters or mails or numbers uh, or even array of arrays or array of collections, it always will, will be in a square bracket. So well, let's start with the text probably. So text array uh, will be displayed either or with a one single quotes or with a double quote, which is more common, uh, at least in checker mod. So this uh, will be a way we work with the words. So let's let's use words. So word one, then uh, let's say word two, and so on and so forth. So let's make it a little bit smaller um, to work with it. So that uh, will be array of of a text or array of words in this case uh, it may be also array of numbers and here we uh, first touching the type of uh, our data right so as you see I haven't put the quote here right just because uh, when we work with the JSON uh, we always um, need to remember that number should not be in quotes we will uh, cover this um, but I just want to start with this one and uh, and we can add again some text and we can add again some number uh, in here so as you see this is the rule of, of a JSON 
uh, for arrays, it always has to be in uh, square brackets. So we, we may say similar about the our letter, right? So we may say it will be sheet one, sheet two, and so on. So uh, sheet three. Uh, actually, by the way, that should uh, uh, remind you something, right? So that well, literally something that you see in, let's say, in a Google sheet and below you see the sheet one, sheet two, sheet three. So technically it's also array of sheets, right? So uh, we may say that one document contains array right, of, uh, of these sheets. Um, another structure, which is a little bit more complex as uh, is a collection. So uh, I see, uh, you see, we have this um, small building here, small house, and uh, that's why I use it just to allow you to understand uh, how works a collection. So uh, just assume that we have uh, a property here, right? Which is also cool because the word property we're going to use right now. Uh, so that's how works collections in a JSON. So collection, it's a um, set of literally properties, set of properties, and that's uh, that's that's what it means. So just assume you have. Um, a unit in, in this building, right? So just assume there are like several units in it and we have several people living in it. So each unit will, uh, in this case, can be represented as a collection and uh, each unit might have, what exactly? It might have a number, right? So let's say a unit with a number, you remember how we worked with the numbers. Uh, let's say 101 for the first floor, right? or 201 for the second one, let's say, in here. And uh, then what we have also, we have a name of our owner. Let's do it like this. So name of the owner, let's say Alex. And we also may say that that property um, has, for example, payment date, right? So right, uh, like a date where you should pay for rent, let's say, right? So uh, let's call it payment date. It will be, for example, first, like, let's use American 01, 2022, and uh, we may say also, let's say a floor, right? So we define it as 201, so let's say a floor. And so on. So we, we may have as many properties as we, it's a, a floor number two actually. So as we said, we may have as many properties as we need. So, and that's how works a JSON in this case. So as you see, we have a pairs of key, calls a key and a value. So key and a value, key and a value always for the collection and um, simple properties in it, uh, like literally any prop any property, and that uh, how uh, JSON allow, uh, allows us to structure uh, sorry structure these uh, properties. Uh, the the main rule for a JSON it's not break a line when we have a property or the property value, right? So if this is a, like a text or it's a number in here, you should not break, you should not break the line. And this is rule of a JSON. So as you see, after I finished with this property, I can go to line number two, line number three and four and so on. And this is a rule of JSON. So that is a collection. So this is our array, right? And this 
is our collection. And as you may guess, what will happen right now will be a combining of these two guys. So we've spoken about array that arrays set of something. So just as here, we have a set of what? A set of collections, definitely. So if we will uh, we'll describe each unit for this building, that will be exactly what we call array of a collections. And for this, I will just copy this part of a text and just get what will happen exactly. So we will just have these collections that will be uh, a comma separated uh, within our array. And this, uh, this is how it works. I'm going to move it a bit here so you can see it. And we're going to quickly build uh, our collection. So we have, as you remember, the brackets. And here, uh, where we have end of our collection. So uh, the, our array technically uh, can uh, work like this even. So it should not, it, not, uh, it, it doesn't like, uh, it must not have exactly same structure such as arrays uh, only uh, or like collections only or uh, text only or something. It, it might work like this. This is also array. So we might just say like a unit two, 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 whatever, two of two, for example, and so on. But usually, right? So when we speak about like um, array of something, usually it means array of similar things. And in our case, it will be array of collections. So go into, uh, yeah, just want to do it like this. So usually it might be like this, a collections and these guys, let's see if we have it now. Uh, usually uh, it has some kind of tree structure, which is super convenient to read. And actually a JSON, it's a really cool format because it's uh, easy to read a JSON for the machine like uh, the machine uh, can read it and and, uh, and a human can read it that's why it's most uh, common format uh, for uh, for the structures that we currently use okay and as you see i can just continue to build my array uh, using these guys so just make sure it's it valid it calls valid right so if it built correctly so machine can read it or parse and it definitely should not have comma after the last item so you see we don't have a comma after it so and let's just uh, quickly draw i may just put it alex 2 alex 3 so unit 3 date let's say will be the same uh, floor might be the same. Let's say for this guy, it will be floor one. So as you see, we got uh, array of collections, and that already not it, it's it's still a text, right? It's still a text because we just uh, use it our uh, kind of keyboard something to write it. So this is a piece of a text. But as soon as we uh, go back to our uh, make and well that calls parse at right so we we have a special module for it that calls parse json if you just paste it here and if uh your uh, json is valid you will have this thing and that is already a structure so we got several collections uh let's do another quick step uh, what i'm going to do here is i'm going to name my uh, array. So to name it, uh, guess what? I'm going to create a collection. Collection uh, and my array will be inside this collection. So the rule for JSON to, to be valid, it has to 
uh, be either collection in general it should start with a uh, curly brackets or with a square brackets means it should be like in this case it's kind of nameless array it doesn't have a name right so we can't reference it it's like uh, we, we, we technically can say this is array but uh, when we will work with a uh, make uh, and uh, this if we go into use another module to grab the value from this somehow we can't reference it right so for this i need to name it and uh, for that i'm going to create a collection super simple i simply uh, going to add a curly bracket to start my collection on any point of this without breaking a line right uh, i can break line uh, between them but not inside of it so i will name it my let's say building okay i add my co uh, my column here and for array i can uh just put it here so my building now is is a json text that i can parse and get my collection collection uh, with a property of building and that property contains array so this building is array with a, several properties in it so we go back to paste it here parse it and now you will see that we got array that's stated here array of collections and each of these collections have some properties in it so that is the kind of fundamental uh, fundamental thing that you need to know and understand when you work with a make not only make definitely but with the make it's really really vital because everything built on it so as you see we now have our array and the system like literally uh, points us with this square bracket that this is array it says like i'm array right so if we go here our output shows i'm array okay so and here we came to um, uh, a part where we uh, will give the kind of uh, explanation or name uh, for this thing so that as you see this is a text so i can't do with it kind of anything it's just a piece of a text well if i would just have the variable that uh, would contain this text right uh, in make at least right so you you have it okay it's good kind of good to you so you have this piece of a text and you can do with it whatever you like so if i have another uh set variable module here right so i can just reference it so this is just a piece of a text it just returns me a piece of a text whatever this text will be but if this text is valid so you see it's, it's a text and it, it says you it's a long text and so uh, but if this text is a json and if it's a valid json and if we are parsing it it becomes a structure okay so then uh, on output of this structure So on output of this structure, we already have variables like appeals uh, uh, with the values in it, so we can reference them in here. How to do it, we will uh, talk later, but right now, let's go a little bit deeper in the history of, of a JSON and some rules, just you remember it and understand uh, better. So uh, I have some slides. Uh, and uh, this will be kind of your uh, cheat sheet uh, so you can just take take a look at it and remember so object right it's a 
curly brackets uh, and it's a collection so it's a it calls either object or collection it's the same thing uh, different program languages might call them different let's say uh, the JavaScript may call it object uh, Java may call it collection but it's like same thing uh, and um, uh, we have array right which is uh, our square brackets and it's uh, ordered values separated by comma while in our object we have uh, key and value pairs which are uh, split or separated by a column and uh, another rule that you remember that all text which is strings values have to be in double quotation so you remember when we work with the text here right this is a text so that goes into double quotes this is a text uh, json doesn't have format like a date or so it has a text so if you have a text then it's text uh, and uh, we have special characters uh, like a, a data type sorry so data types here again string only goes to double quotes the rest which is integers the whole numbers like one two three four and whatever uh the floating points like uh the numbers with dec decimals uh numbers kind of engineering format with the exponent uh also goes without quotes true false no special things uh for a um, bowling type of variables also uh does not require quotes you technically can put it, them in a quote but as soon as you do it it becomes a uh, text so if make uh will evaluate it uh, as a as a bowling uh that's good but just just you to remember uh only strings goes when with a double quotes and uh, definitely objects and array goes with uh, these guys with uh, our uh, curly brackets or square brackets special characters uh, in our JSON exist and we need to it calls escape at so uh, what we mean by this if our JSON by any circumstances contains the double quotes within a text so I don't know uh, might be Alex and some whatever Alex the C whatever <laughs> whatever text what will be and th that will literally break our JSON so what we mean by break because we already speaking about the syntax uh, we have a ton of tools I would recommend you use the JSON link you will have a link for it that uh, helps you to validate a JSON so if you have the um, JSON like this like ours here right and you have uh, quotes so you see it even becomes with a different color so it doesn't show you like a text always goes with a like a red color and special things go uh, with a uh, yellow so that means something probably wrong here right and if I do so you see it just uh, breaks here so what we have to do with the special character such as because we have a lot of them not a lot but some uh, we need to escape it by escape we mean the left slash and that allows system to understand that these literally these guys are special characters so if if it see uh, the backslash then it means uh, the next character will be special character and it will be ignored and will be just added later that value will exist in here so that's uh, name of the owner will be technically uh, Alex that the, the C without these uh, slashes after but for now to allow a uh, system understand that these are special characters we uh, have these backslashes so that will be valid JSON this is exactly what we mean by escaping special characters even a backslash because you understand right so we, if we uh, escape something and let's say our uh, text won't have the this Alex but it will have some text so Alex and 
for whatever reason we have let's say c here in a text that will be not valid json right because that is special character for escaping so we need to escape it also so escape a special character escape by using the same character and when we go with these guys so these guys are special uh, characters such as a uh, new line carriage return and so on they are equal to peels that uh, make uh, allows you to use right so if you go to any any field you have these special peels like a new line and something so that is exactly what you use in uh, your uh, json to uh, allow system to understand that will be let's say a new line so to i i already did some text test here so this will be the uh, it will break our text into several lines because you can't literally break it uh, you, you will break the JSON so you remember I told you you can't uh, break the value text value in here and definitely can break the, the uh, this guy the key so to allow our system to understand that this is a special character so like you see it here uh, in in comparison to uh, like with any other text our backward slash requires to be escaped because uh, the system uh, kind of assume we just want to have a slash but if we want to break a line and have a several lines of our text we just use um, backward slash and that's for new line and then the JSON will be valid and our uh, text will be split it to and will give us new line so if we go this way we'll paste it here and if we will run it so you will see our output will contain a new line so this is about special characters so you need to remember so these will be considered as a special characters uh, and that's it so quick overview of the JSON in general this is a really uh, good, good site that literally gives you with a kind of schemas everything that I just explained it so you see the object right goes with the uh, quotes might have white spaces um, and um, we have a, st a string we have the the white space white space and the, the value in here means uh, you can have uh, uh, spaces before spaces after you can have new strings something right and uh, between the keys and the values you have to have a column for array you have might have spaces but you have to separate your values with a comma Okay, so if you have just the one value, we just pass it like this, bam. But if you have value and then you have another value and another value, you just have a comma, similar thing in here. So our key value pair, like a string, white space, then column, then value has to be separated with a comma. It's kind of logical uh, schema for you to remember and again value white space white space might have string numbers and so, so you have to uh, separate the values with the white spaces and uh, the strings has to be encoded this is what we just uh, discussed it with you so these are special things has to be uh, escaped with a new uh, with a backward slash to become a special characters so uh, and numbers go just like this uh, digit can have only dot for period for a decimal thing it might have uh, this engineering uh, and exponential e then dash uh, or like minus or plus in digit and so on a uh, couple words about other formats we won't touch them because uh, this is definitely uh, definitely a different topic but just you to remember that we have also xmls which are a uh, kind of precessor of uh, all a json we don't use xml too much anymore and all system almost all systems successfully migrated to json but you may still have something that uh, uses xml um, 
as you see, it's, um, I might say it's similar somehow to, to a JSON, just kind of tree structure in here. But in general, as you see, it's way, way, way more inconvenient to read it and definitely build it. So and this so far, everything that you need to know about the XML and um, another thing that even older than XML, it calls uh, SOAP or, or SOAP. And it's, um, it's literally uh, valid XML text, but it's even more complex to build correct uh, swap message, you have to have uh, some envelope and header and way, way, way more things. So these guys were before the JSON. And as you see, it's good that we kind of migrated to JSON because it's way, way, way more better and easy to read it and understand it. So, um, so you remember right now, what is uh, a JSON? So what we do with it? So how exactly you need to work uh, with the, your uh, uh, JSON. And um, that's uh, really, really, really important to be able to work with it just because I'm going to find some example for you uh, from kind of real life and that we, we going to use uh, later. So ability to build and, uh, and read JSONs will uh, be required from you when you will work with uh, all, all these things such as APIs and data and so on. So that, for example, um, let me see. Uh, yeah, it's not valid just because of copy pasting from something. I just want to show you that we might have uh, some super complex thing to, to work with. And for now, let's run our module. And now let's let's explore a bit. So we uh, go a little bit backwards because I had to give you some uh, theory uh, before we go to uh, even some basic stuff, but this uh, theory is uh, required from you to understand because we will always communicate with these uh, meanings like uh, array and collections and so. So right now, when you open the output of any module in a, second, in a, in a make, uh, you uh, will be able to understand what exactly it means by like array or collection or what, what the crap is it, right? So, and here is an example of array in, in real life and how you work with it. Uh, so you have array, right? So that is attachments, it's array. So what this literally means is that your uh, email contains three attachments. So each of these attachments, as we've spoken before, have some, it's an array of collections it's a complex structure. It's not just a kind of a text or something, right? Uh, it's array of collections. And each of these collections means each attachment has several properties, including the uh, name uh, type of the file, like literally that we call extension, they call this uh, MIME type. Uh, the checksum is a hash of our data uh, content ID, file size, and so on, and includes a data also. So that is binary data that also can be a part um, of our structure. So array might contain uh, the binary uh, file, and that's how we work with them in the make. So now, uh, quick uh, explanation on how we work with the uh, with the data in here, uh, with the data peels in Make. We have these drop downs. So as as you remember, same drop downs we have here, right? So plus is kind of thing, and we have some kind of tree structure. So we go, we may go deeper, 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 and deeper, right? So just uh, assume that that can be also an array of collection. It might go more and more and more with the more and more levels. So, and this exactly what we have here, each uh, like a drop down error uh, means that this is either array of collection. And if you don't have these square brackets, 
and it actually says you here you see the array uh, if you if you don't have it that it means it's a collection so if I hover mouse on this it says a collection so you see here right and if I click on it I open it so you see we have some data in it so what means by this it means right so it's array and it has some items in it which um, currently are pieces of text so we can go to this uh, headers basic and see how it works so headers basic and received is array so it's array of a text so these items are text so you see we have a couple of pieces of a text in each of these guys so that has for example um, um, this text and and this text right so this is just some several system things so let's say uh, from it's also a text literally right so there's from uh, it's also array and uh, has several things because for example uh, we have CC or subject something like this it might contain several items yes for example two it might uh, be sent to several people for example right not just one so that might be array for example and so on and then when you uh, work with the variables you reference uh, the thing that you need to to reference and that's why it's super important to understand uh, the the JSON so if uh, we will we'll talk about this uh, on a, um, tomorrow like on next day uh, when we will go to variables but again right now you at least can open this and understand this this is a JSON and you understand what means array what means a collection right so you can see this data and you can read it so this was the goal of today's session uh, so so you can now uh, see and understand the data and uh, the, you can open and read a JSON so and you will have a practical task to create your own JSON to remember it better how it works so you can just see this text for example right now and understand so if you have uh, this line with an end it means new line that it means carriage return so sometimes it comes together so it's like carriage return and new line both together so you understand that will be a, like a piece of text of this then will be new line and this text and so on so that for example so you see has a multiple lines so just here break a new line new line new line so that's is just a list of uh, new like a text with a, several lines in it and so on uh, so one more thing I want to uh, show you today uh, let me quickly find it yeah will be this so you will have this table just you to remember this is a simple thing I created so again just to to, rem to remind you what is array and complex array and what is collection the structures arrays in the collections complex collection and uh, this uh, types right so uh, most common things that you might have it's a string it's a number in tangent float the bowling uh, fails so true data types so da uh, uh, data time uh, different type of thing but that will be a text so you remember right and uh, time also but these guys will be a text these are special types and the numbers also special so you always can uh, reference to this cheat sheet so to remember uh, what exactly types you can use in a JSON and uh, yeah this one also should be fine to remind you uh, a couple of things so uh, this basically it for uh, today guys so uh, you will have as I said the practical task to create your own JSON and to, to play with it to, so, so you will remember how to use it and tomorrow we will start uh, finally with the make functions uh, tools and everything uh, because 
that's what we learned today. I hope you, you will uh, do your uh, homework on it and will understand it. Uh, so you will learn and understand what exactly is JSON because this, as you see, it's a vital thing that will be required from you to understand when we will work in Make on our good and nice automation. So uh, see you tomorrow, guys. And tomorrow we will start our real uh, implementation. So we will start build our scenarios. So today was uh, first initial day and you may just go and play with this one. So you may just uh, add additional module to let's say send an email if you want, right? So basically you, you can play with the modules or just uh, use the set variable, for example, to get a data. Uh, and it's like super simple, just like this. Let's say get a sender or so. So if you are not familiar at all with a make yet, uh, we, which, we, which we're going to cover tomorrow, in, in more details uh, but for now i believe most of you more or less understand uh, what we are doing here right so um, you may just learn a json and uh, wait for tomorrow's video where we will uh, go deeper and deeper in our uh, make modules uh, tools and so on so see you tomorrow